call this meeting to order then, please. We didn't pledge allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. One of these days, Gary, what we're going to do is we're going to just be silent and let you do a solo. <laughs> Maybe we'll do the national anthem to do that. Uh, all, right, all right. Let's approve the minutes of the June 8, 2017 regular meeting, please. So moved. Rowdy? Second by Kara. Is that an all yes vote? Yes. yes. All? Okay. Public comments? No one signed in, right, Mr. Mayor? Okay. We go to the administrative section then. We have a motion to vote those. So moved. Ms. Brooks, son. Second. Ms. Curry. Committee. All right. Item A, out of state travel for the following personnel. Item B, out of county student transfers for the 2017 2018 school year. And item C is the abolishment of one language arts teacher position at Lincoln County High School effective immediately. I've spoken to the board previously about uh, eliminating this position. We'll look at our enrollment numbers next fall when we come back. We come back and ask them to, to uh, create the position. That's a good This is all, I guess. Okay. Anticipation that we possibly have to cut next year in this month in the one that we could avoid having to deal with us first. Be more efficient at the same time. Okay. Okay, everybody uh, seen the administrative item. Is that an all yes vote on that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go to the finance section then. I have a motion to look at those. Fred. Rowdy. Uh, schedule of invoices totaling $749,097.92 listed and attached. And if you have any questions about that, let us know. Rob's got those on file down there. Now, Ray, we're nearing the end of uh, June. Uh, if we meet next week, uh, can we anticipate we're going to have anything unusual? Or I don't anticipate anything. I mean, as far as our numbers, I mean, you, you, I'm going to be using some of that surplus. I just have to make some budget entries. That's what I'm going to be bringing to you. Um, just so that we don't get any audit findings, you know. But now, what does that mean? So things balance at the end of the... the yeah, we, we took positions here and moved them over here. So you got to move money from here to there. And you cannot do it after next Friday. That's what midnight. Saying. You have to close that one fiscal year. Yeah. Robin's going to be doing invoices till. You know, if you all have travels to bring in, we'll be able to process them that night. She should be here for a while. Uh, we'll try to get as many invoices posted as possible. Try not to let it get real crazy. Just everybody knows that that's the end of the year, so, you know, they're known to bring their stuff in as quick as possible. Uh, we'll probably run more invoices this week than we normally do. Uh, just the journal entries and, and then some of the other stuff just to close it out for the, the financial Trying to get that set up to where July you just, you know, it's not as happy. Now, you may have already told us this, but has the state responded to our budget that we submitted our plan for our yeah. budget? Yeah, they, uh, they, they sent that out, I guess, a week last week, week, week. Well, maybe last week, and everything was good. But my explanation to them was fine. So they gave, they gave a great job on it, actually. I was happy with that. I did a happy dance down the hall after talking to Jeff. No one got to see it. <laughs> if you got the hospital bills, then you will. <laughs> yeah. Sean, the video, you want to no, I, I don't know if I could remake my movie. <laughs> but I, I was real happy with it. That's good. That's good. Okay. Uh, any, any board members have any questions on the finance? Okay, if not, is that an all yes vote on the uh, well, five minutes issued? Invoices. All oh, yes? Yes. yes. All? Yes. All right. Let's go to personnel then. So I have a motion to look at those. Say ahead and where. 
Okay, I may transfer of professional personnel pending the completion of autism certification. Item B, employment of service personnel. Item C, employment of professional personnel. D, transfer of service personnel. E, transfer of professional personnel. F, employment of extracurricular personnel. G, leave of absence. And age retirement and resignation. And uh, one of the things uh, we always have, uh, teachers always want to know when's the last day they can leave a job and so forth. Yeah. So the board meeting July the 25th would be the last one someone can transfer. August the 1st would be the last time that Mr. Mitkiff would let them out of their contract, and that would only be if we had a certified teacher. And we're going to have Mr. Aggins uh, send out, come and send out a mass email to all employees with those dates explaining that so everyone will know. And we'll put it on our county website. We'll put it on our county website also. And I'm glad you missed it, because that was my question, how we communicate that to everyone. Good. And, and uh, we're waiting, uh, principals have uh, completed their reports, we're waiting on Mr. Pritchard to complete the 10-month 10 10 month report, to look at promotions, retentions, and we'll have a little bit of light. A little better idea if we're going to have some overages in some of the elementaries, which we do anticipate. Right, very good. And I'll mention to the board also, uh, we ended up with six applicants for the arts K-8 principal shooting. The interviews are next week. As we discussed at the last uh, board meeting, because of the lateness of getting those interviews in, uh, there, there won't be a name on the personnel schedule when the agenda's come out. It'll be blank. So I'll bring that name, I'll bring that my recommendation to you at the June 30th board meeting. If that's okay with the board. The inside outside people? Three and three. Three, yeah, three, three and three outside. Three. Thank you. And, and there will actually be two items on there. There'll be one to hire someone and then there'll be one to transfer. That way we'll know which, which recommendation will that possible. Whatever, Mr. Big We've yeah. done it the same way we've done it. Yeah, yeah I was like, hey, let's do the permutations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It could be something we're going to make hire someone, yeah. then we may transfer something. Yeah. So we do have people inside the You system. clarified it there. Right? My hand in it. So when you get it on the yeah. Okay. Uh, any questions or concerns with the personnel schedule? Okay, if not, is that an all yes on the personnel schedule? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh. And the deadline has passed for that application? Yes, Period. last week. Last week. Okay, that brings us down to uh, comments and concerns. Board members, anybody have anything? Superintendent, do you have anything? I uh, have a couple items here. Uh, one, uh, I just want to um, let you know that Monday, We'll find out whether or not we're successful in our uh, bid to receive an MIP grant award. As you recall, we've gone after funding for uh, sewer treatment plants for Duval or Midway. So that, that meeting with the school, board, uh, authority, uh, school building authority is uh, Monday morning at 9 a.m. So uh, I'll be there. Mr. Ellis is going to be there. Greg's on vacation next week. He'll not be joining us. But We'll be present for that meeting, just in case there be any questions that may come up during that process. We we'll do that bit and answer those questions. Does this one require an architect also? Yes, and, and we've involved everyone need to be involved in this process, so that, that would be a uh, a reason for it to get kicked well, out. First yeah, off, yeah. yeah, we we've learned <coughs> through that process to make sure that we've got the architect involved as well as Mr. Ashley. Mike Hall, I don't remember Dan the guys. guys and Mike Hall. SBA's been involved from the, from the get-go uh, as well in, in our submission of our project. Mm -hmm. So we'll, I'll let the board <coughs> you an email uh, Monday and let you know whether we're successful or not. <coughs> Mr. Lindell and I just returned from, from the uh, West Virginia uh, Association of School Administrators meeting Stonewall. And um, part of that meeting was for the superintendents to gather to vote on breaking the state up into four regions so, uh, as part of House Bill 2711, the governor's bill that was signed into law. The meeting occurred. 
the decision was made to pair up reasons as the or the counties in the reasons um, as regions. So, didn't say that correctly, but what we did was the counties and reasons two and three formed a region. And the counties and or reasons one and four, those counties formed a region. Five and six went together, seven and eight. So this is the eight reasons that worked out. Yeah. yeah. So this is this is what the four regions will look like, and I'll, I'll get you all copy of this too. Uh, the only the requirements is that we had to select a uh, a lead superintendent. Uh, the person chosen for our region was Mason County Superintendent Jack Cullen. Uh, we'll meet two times during the year, discuss issues or concerns uh, that are common or uh, for that for our particular region to be shared out at the end of the year with the state board and the state superintendent. And that's the only direction right now that we have as far as these quadrants and, um, and their purpose. At some point, will they be numbered? Do you figure? I, I would think this. Or in one or Kind of build this thing as we go. So yeah. Yeah, I just want the board to know that that did take place. Yeah, that's a logical way. I know recently we talked about it. Yeah. It's a logical way. Do we do it one Although, I don't know what the quadrants mean, but I don't think you want to have it to be buried from Okay. Anything else? Uh, board meeting schedule. This is uh, just a draft of giving you a copy. Uh, Larry's question prompted me to even think about uh, sharing this with you this season, so I appreciate you asking your question. Uh, so, Brenda, uh, we put this together, or Brenda put it together, we talked about it in some time ago. I want the board to have an opportunity to um, look at the schedule. Questions, suggestions that you may have regarding this schedule before we bring it to you at the July 6th meeting for your approval. Okay, so this is just the proposed thing, right? Yeah, that's the purpose. It's well, I'm, I'm just saying yeah, this whole draft. device or this whole instrument document is just a draft. It's a draft. It's a draft. draft. That's the right draft. But I'll take the draft off when we're not. We can still change it, you know. We have to add meetings every year, so yeah, I'm sure we will. Well, what is the purpose of the statutory meeting on the 6th? It really is, it is. No, we ought to be required to have that meeting if there has been a, a primary election and there aren't any members seated. And this year there's not, so. Like next year there will We don't have to uh, elect officers or anything this year. The only thing, I guess, is adopt your meeting schedule. And our that, policy. Requires us to meet the first third of last Tuesday month. So we'll meet on that first third. Well, because of the home. That well, makes it just so yeah, confusing. Right, I'll right. be at the beach that week. So yeah. I was going to miss anything. Well, you can really call. important because I was going to fly back to the meeting in July. <laughs> fly back to the beach that night. So I just call in. Yeah, just call. If you ever feel me, come fly out back. Well, that reminds me, right? July 18th is the night. That's the evening that we'll recognize our retirees. That's at 5 p.m. I didn't think that was the reason we were meeting. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Is 
this etched in stone yet? I have numerous uh, comments. Okay, well, we make. can table it, and then if you have some comments. Yeah, I mean, I've had it on my desk. I just haven't. Okay. <laughs> we can wait until next week. We can change your vision to the next one, no problem. I would just want to send an email to everybody that just some things I, some thoughts I had. Okay. And I had it. I apologize for. I just had. I had it. Okay. They were staring at me, but I haven't done it yet. But I'll do it for a second. Okay, does anybody uh, have any, <coughs> anything else to bring to our attention this evening? Okay, uh, well, as you know, uh, this will uh, conclude the superintendent's uh, evaluation procedure for this year. We're going to do that tonight. Uh, and that has to be, as required, has to be an executive session or closed session. We're going to do that. In addition to that, uh, Mr. Midkiff has asked if we have a personnel executive session for a matter that's arisen. It's uh, new. And so uh, what I'm asking for is uh, for the, a motion to move into executive session for two purposes, the evaluation of the superintendent and a personnel matter. Um, I would make a motion that we adjourn to executive session for consideration both of the evaluation of the superintendent and newly as a personnel matter. Have you made a motion? Do have a second? All right. Second. Fred, second, said, said, and all, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, John, do you want